Katie, how do you how do you view that that third quarter? That kind of it's <laughs> pretty wasn't it? Um, oh, you know, I well one for seventeen. Um, you know, we missed some open shots, uh, but I I think. We did miss some open shots, but a lot of that has to go to, to Indiana's defensive pressure there in the third quarter. It was just a little bit different than it was in the first in the first half. Um, I thought we missed some open opportunities in the first half that maybe would have given us a little bit more confidence shooting it. So then when we miss our first couple, it's kind of like this domino effect. Um, and then they come out and score on what their first three possessions and push it to 12 right away, three or four possessions, whatever it was. Um, yeah, just a, a really, really tough quarter for us. Um, but I think the credit goes uh, to Indiana there. What did you what did you tell the girls in the locker room, or what will you tell them to try to just put this all behind you guys and, and get ready for the final stretch of the year? Yeah, I mean, it's you – know, obviously, we're chasing those guys, right? We're chasing the, top, the teams at the top of the Big Ten. Um, I, it used to be us there a long time ago, and we've got to go through moments like this where um, it, it, we have to. We're going to go through moments like this. Um, so the message was really just be us, right? Like there, were t there was a time there in the second half when you know, like don't, don't, don't do you, do us. And so, much, so oftentimes we started to just be, be you, be you. Like, and, and when we, when we use the phrase "don't be you, be us," when we are us. Um, we give ourselves a chance. Um, today was supposed to happen, right? Indiana was supposed to be this. There's not anybody outside of our locker room that thought Purdue was going to win today. So what happened was supposed to happen today. We think differently. We believe that we belong. Last, last week showed us that. Last three games, we go on the road to play a top 25 team. We go on the road, we play a top five team. We win. That's not supposed to happen, but we know and we feel and we believe that we belong. Today was supposed to happen, so it's we, we can't hold on to today. We've got to hold on to the next opportunity. Let this go. Let it burn for, for tonight. we got tomorrow off. We come in on Tuesday and we get ready for Rutgers. There's nothing we can do about this right now. What happened was supposed to happen. Give all the credit in the world to Indiana. They are by far the best team in our league. I know there's some teams chasing them, but man, they, they do not hurt themselves. They don't beat themselves. They've got, they've got all the weapons out there. Um, and for us, it's just stay the course. And from here on out, it's one and up. And, and it happens to be Rutgers on Thursday. Katie, aside from the, the final score, 14,876 fans. Um, and I know you, you hope that this generates some excitement and people keep coming out, but how big of a deal was this when you, know, you take away the, the result of the game and just playing in this kind of environment in Matthew Arena. That yeah, would have helped if we made a shot in the third quarter, right? Those fans would have came back. Um, you know, it, no, like on, in, in all seriousness, uh, the, the walk down the, the tunnel today, um, it gave me chills. Um, and I wish I kind of was out here for when our group ran out on the floor to, to hail Purdue, uh, because I remember what it was like as a player to, to have that moment, um, never in front of 14,876. Um, and, and, and I'm so thankful to, to our student section, so thankful to our fans. Obviously, Indiana travel, travels well everywhere. Um, but this is what it's supposed to look like in our game. Um, and we've got to keep continuing to improve. Our product has to be a good product to get people to continue to come back. Um, but this is what we're chasing. Right? This is it. This is, this is why I'm here, and this is what we're trying to do. Have you not let this derail the momentum that you had coming into today so you can get to the finish line in about a month where you want to be? Yeah, Mike, that's the secret sauce, right? Like, I, and it's a secret. I got I to gotta keep it locked in and, and figure it out. I got I got two days to, to figure it out to, to, to get our group back together. Um, you know, it's – I don't, I don't have a doubt in my mind that my group, that our group will be ready to go on Tuesday. Um, there's no doubt in my mind. Um, sorry, talk about, sorry, I'm completely this out. It's okay, you got it. Um, filler question, talk you through the outfit you picked out for today with the baseball script of the little Jordan <laughs> ones. Uh, yeah, I wasn't wearing my own jersey. That was a, that was a no-go. So those, those guys ripped those and, uh, um, 
I don't know, just grabbed it out of the closet, grabbed the shoes to match the script on the on the collar. Thanks, Coach Goff. I feel like it. I try to get, Beth always says she's the swaggiest coach on the sideline, so I try to give her a run for her money today. And then came back to me now. Um, what's the impression you get from this Indiana women's basketball team in terms of how they stand compared to in that top five national level compared to like teams you face like Iowa and then when we've seen from South Carolina? Yeah, um, obviously I haven't seen South Carolina on tape, seen Indiana or seen Iowa at Iowa. Um, different teams, I know they're, they're what they play next. Um, next, they play next in a couple couple times here in the month of February. So I think that'll that'll all iron itself out. Um, similar teams got really good dominant posts and some some good guard play with with people who can flat out score the ball from the perimeter. Um, probably just going to be a one who who imposes their will. Um, I can't imagine. I don't know when they play, but when do they play? Thursday. Shit, so do we. <laughs> um, no, but uh, I excited excited to 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 see those two match up. Um, you know, the best two teams in our league. Um, Indiana's maybe a little bit prettier on the defensive end than Iowa is, but uh, Iowa does have a piece that a lot of people in the country do not have. You say uh, earlier. You said, "Don't be you, be us." What does that mean to an outsider hearing that? Yeah, just uh, don't try to do it by yourself, right? Let do it, do it collectively as a group. Um, today, I thought when when things got a little bit sour for us, you know, a couple times there in the third quarter, body language changed. Um, we didn't execute what we were trying to do defensively because we were trying to make a play, and and it's not it's not with malintent, right? It, it is it is purposeful. It, it is our kids trying to win a basketball game, uh, but that's not when we're at our best. We don't have a Grace Berger, we don't have a Mackenzie Holmes, we don't have a Caitlin Clark. So we can't do you. We have to do us, and and that's the message there. Katie, what did you see out of your group the last couple three days? in between the Ohio State game and this that seemed to spark them there in the first half and really got off to after 7-0, but a pretty solid rest of the first half. Yeah, you know, I, I think all week, I, I think we, we had the feeling that, hey, we belong. Um, it really wasn't until we started missing shots there where, where it was like, okay, we start questioning some things, like questioning if we do belong. But I think all week our preparation was great. Um, we locked into what we were trying to do. Obviously, we wanted to, to, to sag off of more McNeil and make her make outside shots in the first half. But at the same time, I mean, Mackenzie Holmes had two points at, at halftime, right? She's taking two shots. Um, I don't know what Grace had at halftime, but we, but we were doing our job. We held the team to 31 points in the first half. And they averaged, what, 80 a game? Like, we were doing our job, and then the second half, like, those guys just kind of flipped the switch um, and turned into a different animal out there. Coach, how, yesterday the Purdue men went into Assembly Hall and had a little bit of trouble with the atmosphere. You guys were unable to take take your take IU out of the atmosphere in the same way. How how come you guys struggled and struggled to take IU out of the atmosphere when IU in Bloomington was so successful with the men doing it? You guys were less so, and I was just curious what your thought was. On it. Yeah, I think uh, a lot of uh, a couple things there. Um, I think Indiana men's basketball is is a lot further along than Purdue women's basketball is um, in terms of competing in the moment. Um, our group hasn't played in front of fourteen thousand eight hundred and seventy six people before, and I think there, you know, there there's a there's something to be said for that. Um, Indiana has like they go they, their crowd is great at home. they uh, they um, they travel. They they always have a good crowd when they're when they're on the road in big games. Um, we went out to Iowa. They had 11,000 plus first half. I mean, we looked deer, like deer in the headlights. Last Sunday, we go to we go to Ohio State. There's 8,600 fans there, and okay, we've been there. We've done this. Let's stay together. Um, I imagine the next time we have 14,876 fans in here, we'll know how to handle the moment. Katie, back here. Uh, looking at your team from last year, you can see improvement since the day you've been here. Thank you. What do you think about the future and where you're at now and the Big Ten? And because and you, you raised up uh, above where we were before at Purdue, we've gone up in the standings a little bit. Where do you see your, this program coming on from here forward? Yeah, um, first of all, I appreciate that. Um, a lot of that goes to our group just buying into to what we're trying to do. 
Um, this place means so much to me uh, personally, and I think our group has really started to buy into what it means to wear Purdue on your chest. Um, this is just the beginning. I, obviously, we, we have such a long, long way to go to get back uh, to, to where we all want Purdue to be. Um, even you Indiana fans, you want Purdue at the top too, right? Um, no, it, it's we we we've got a long way to go, uh, but but this is right. This is the right path, right? This is the path we have to take. We've got to struggle in moments like this. Um, it's got to hurt, and and our our locker room hurts right right now. Um, we we know, we understand we didn't play well. Uh, we didn't give ourselves a chance, but but we're on the right path. Um, I believe in what we're trying to do. I believe in 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 our group. I believe in what we have coming in. Um, it's just a matter of time. See, we just got to stay the course. Anything else for Coach? Thanks. Appreciate it.